What's happening, y'all? This is Still Glitch, bringing you another BDSP Wi-Fi battle. Today, I'm going to be starting a new thing. We're going to call it Super Theme Team Sunday Day Day. <laughs> y'all get it? Um, I'm going to be using a Gen 1 team today. Strictly Gen 1, all the starters, plus some. Everything from Gen 1, the Gen 1 run. We're going to see if we can uh, make it work in the Gen 4 OU room. Alright, uh, let me show you the team real quick. We have here um, my Gen 1 team right here. The Gen 1 runners. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Alright, so uh, we got the um, Subseed Venusaur. Um, the Specs Charizard, the uh, um, Defog Specially Defensive Mew. I'm rocking the Clefable Unaware um, with Thunder Wave in order to slow things down so this guy right here, Charizard, can uh, blow their head off with Blast Burn. I am running a Adamant Shell Smash Blastoise. For two reasons. One, I already have a heavy special attacker. I need a physical attacker. Two, um, this comes with the priority Aqua Jet. And that's the only priority move I have on this team. And last but not least, we have the um, Transform Ditto. Uh, imposter. You know what I'm saying? So in case anything tries to really set up on us, we're going to go ahead and punish them for that. So, um, I'm going to see if I can't make this team work today. Um... But try it out. Let's get into this battle. Okay, we got a battle with Joe. So... Here we go with our Gen 1 team. Oh, let's see what he's rocking out with. Okay, he's got the um, Heatran, Ampharos, Dragonite, Meganium, Snorlax, and I uh, can't remember that last one's name. Oh, Zangoose. So, here I'm going to go ahead and lead probably my, um, I'm thinking he might want to go Heatran for a lead. So maybe I set up, uh, Mew, Prime. Nah, we go Blastoise. I think I'm trying to counteract that Heatran lead if we can. If he doesn't go Heatran, um, then this wasn't the best play. But we shall find out real quick what's going on here, y'all. So good luck, Joe. Have fun, and uh, let's get into this battle. So he leads off with the Zangus, trying to sweep me right away. But that's all right. So, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and shell smash right here. I think. I think that's the right play. As he misses the crush claw, unfortunate for him because that would have really hurt. So I'm expecting to maybe see a toxic orb go off here. Uh, we'll find out real quick if that's what it is. Generally, those Zangus run with that toxic orb, but I'm not so sure if that's the case today. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and fire off a waterfall right here and see what he decides to do. That crush claw is not gonna do very much at all. Our defense falls. Here we go. We're going to fire off an Aqua Jet right here. This is where that priority comes into play. 
and we get the crit. I don't think that really mattered considering he had about one HP left. Um, I think with the amount of damage that that thing did, that was probably choice because Crush Claw shouldn't have done damage like that really. As he's going to come in with the Meganium. Uh, right here looks like a great time to go. Um, let's see, what is that thing going to try to do to us? You know what? I think it's pretty safe to go Venusaur right here. Um, I figure probably Leech Seed Spore, something in that realm of existence. Protect. Alright, so right here, I'm going to go ahead and probably, I don't remember his team, Ampharos, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and try to set up a sub right here. Yep, as he withdraws, I figured that might be coming. He goes Heatran. I'm going to go ahead and try to put this thing to sleep right here. With the uh, sub seed set, you know, maybe I should probably try to uh, set up a leech seed first. If I set up a leech seed, what do I go into then? Um, not much. I don't really have a whole lot for this thing. So, here I'm going to go ahead and try to hit it with a sleep powder. See if we're lucky enough to get the sleep powder off. And we connect. Alright. Yes, sir. Connecting with the sleep powder. Oh, and he's got the uh, Lumberry. So that was a good play by my opponent. And now we are trapped in a magma storm. This is not good, y'all. So hopefully we can connect with another sleep powder because we are in trouble if we can't. Wait, wait, wait. Can we switch out if he connects with that magma storm on a substitute? I think we're still trapped. I don't really know. I've never um never actually tried that before. Um I'm going to switch in Blastoise if it'll let me. Oh yeah. All right. So, I guess you can switch out on a magma storm if uh you're behind a sub. And I really don't think that he's going to want to stay in right here. Um, I am going to go ahead and... Because he's got that Dragonite. Do I go Earthquake? Or Waterfall? Okay, I... Mm, we go waterfall just because I know he has that dragonite yeah that's what I thought he was probably gonna do so with that multi-scale is broke so that's excellent news for us and I'm gonna go ahead and go into my um, unaware clefable Expecting uh, maybe a dragon dance. Yep, that's what I thought he was about to do. That that doesn't equal anything for our team. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and set rocks. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna stay in right here. Oh, he did. Weird. That's not gonna do anything. So stealth rocks are up. I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Thunder Wave. I'm pretty sure the Heatran's probably coming in right here. But, oh, because I don't really have many switch-ins to that Heatran. I mean, I guess Mew. Charizard might be alright. Um, okay, uh... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Thunder Wave. I'm pretty sure that Heatran's coming out. 
Oh, I don't think he quite understands that we're unaware here. So, that's all right. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that unaware is a big deal. Um, really, I'm just afraid of that Heatran, tell you the truth. Um, man, I almost want to switch my Ditto in here. But, uh, I don't think that's a good idea right now. Go ahead and Moonblast. Should take this thing out. Aqua Tail is not going to do any more than it did last time. And right here, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Moonlight. Because I'd like to have just a little bit more health when that Heatran comes back in. Oh, Extreme Speed. Oh, Extreme Speed with the critical hit. Yeah, we don't really care about that. That's not a big deal to us. So, um, you know, I was actually contemplating running a Dragonite over my Ditto. Um, do I go Ditto? Um, just to try to get Ditto into the game? Yeah, yeah, we do. And then I'm going to Aqua Tail... Uh, this might have been a bad play because he is pretty strong right now with those dragon dances. Alright. That's a bit unfortunate for my opponent. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go Aqua Tail and then we're going to um, we're going to get that uh, make it so they can't bring that whatever you call it in. That Heatran. So now I can't bring the Heatran in. I wish I'd taken a picture of this man's team, but I do not remember. So he goes Amphorus. Not a big deal. Um, here we just go um, Venusaur. Yeah. Yeah, I like Venusaur. Rinse and repeat. Really, I just didn't want that Heatran to come back out. That would have been a big issue for my team. I'm still fearing that Heatran, really. So, right here, I'm gonna... Because he's not gonna let me set up another sub, really. But I'm gonna go Sleep Powder. Oh, as he hits with the Confuse Ray. Good tech. Good tech by my opponent. I really hope that we break through. Come on, Venusaur. Let's show them what Gen 1's all about. Gen 1 runners. All right, all right. And we connect with the Sleep Powder. Yes, sir. Right here, I'm gonna go. Go ahead and take this opportunity to get my Charizard in. Let's see, if I do that, he's definitely gonna go Heatran. Nah, we'll find out right here real quick if his Heatran is, um, uh, we're gonna find out if his Heatran is Flash Fire or Flame Body. So, Blast Burn up. Blast Burn in the entire tier. <laughs> All right, Ampharos is out of there. Now I'm sure that Heatran's probably coming in and I may have to decide to sack something here. But I'm not sure what. That Snorlax, huh? Okay. Um, even with Thick Fat, I don't think that this really wants a whole lot to do with my Charizard. So another Gen 1 Pokemon. Bring out the Snorlax. Oh, with a Giga Impact. Yeah, I say we just Blast Burn with Charizard again.
Bex Blastburn is melting that Snorlax. He's gonna come in with the Heatran. Look at Charizard just fucking killing everything. See, this is this is why Charizard is the boss. Really? I mean, alright, what's he gonna do here? Um Magma Stormy, Flash Cannon, I mean I'm not too worried about it. Flash Cannon. Okay, so right here we got a pretty good opportunity to bring in, uh, um, we are adamant. I would like just a little bit of chip damage though. Maybe I go ditto right here and transform and, uh, no, I'm going to go Venusaur. We're going to try to set another uh, Sleep Powder. We're two for three on it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and substitute first and hope he misses the Magma Storm. Because he is going to miss that Magma Storm eventually. As he hits again with the Magma Storm, still connecting. And this thing is running 100% accuracy. Okay, so I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set the sub one more time. I hope he really misses this. This is where it gets a little bit sketchy, though. Earth power. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now I'm conditioning him into uh, going Earth power. See what do we have for that? Um, yeah, we're kind of stuck right here. I really need to hit this sleep powder, or we are in major, major, major trouble. And we connect with the sleep powder. Yes, sir. All right, so that's good news for us. Now, if I could connect with the leech seed. That'd be even better news for us. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Leech seed up. Do not wake up. Don't wake up. Don't wake up on me. I woke up. <laughs> but we got earth powered. We should live that. All right. All day. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity and try to connect with another sleep powder. We're hitting three for four on these sleep powders. We are doing great here. Or do I sub up and, uh, yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and sub right here. We're gonna chill, try to whittle this thing down a little bit. No reason not to, really. So it connects with the magma storm. And you know what? I think that we can go ahead and pop another sub after this, honestly. There's the black sludge, and after the um, leech seed, yeah, I'm pretty sure we get enough back to pop another sub. So, yes. All right, we're gonna just go ahead and hit substitute again. And really wear this thing down. And I'm sure he's gonna go for another earth power here. Earth power, yup. Now he's starting to understand the game. That sub seed set is so annoying, really. I don't think that we're gonna quite get enough back to hit it with another uh, substitute. So right here, I am definitely gonna go. Um, oh no, we do get enough back to sub up again. Okay, so substitute one more again. Oh, didn't get enough. And we died to that one, that's okay. I thought we had enough to sub again. I'm not too worried about it though. Cause right here, we definitely do have enough for uh, um, this Blastoise to come in. Let's 
so here um, I think it's time to go waterfall he may pull yeah I figured he probably might pull as he goes into the meganium that's gonna do about four but the good news is, is that meganium cannot do very much whatsoever to my team so I'm gonna go ahead and go Clefable right here and uh, I'm gonna thunder wave this thing yeah solar beam is not gonna do a whole lot we should be all right so it is locked into this move I'm gonna just go ahead and click uh, um, Thunder Wave, I think. No, we're gonna hit it with the Moon Blast because I'm sure we outspeed that thing. Not today. Hey, Gen 1 on top. Y'all gotta give a shout out to my Gen 1 team as we're tearing shit up still. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm almost expecting the Heatran to come back in right here. So I'm going to go ahead and fire off a Thunder Wave. And we'll see if he brings the Heatran back in. Oh, he's going to try to Leech Seed me up. That's alright. I'm not stressed about that. Yeah, I think that we did come out on top here. With our Gen 1 team... Because, I mean, this thing will never, ever be able to break my Clefable with that leech set. Because I have uh, Moonlight. So unless he switch, switch that Heatran in, this was a losing battle for him. So here I just go Moonlight. I mean, there's not a whole lot this man could have done. So our Gen 1 team, Gen 1 on top. We do be taking those. Alright. So hey, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Uh... Leave a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll do this again next Sunday. All right, y'all have a good one. Peace.